Our verse today is 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 27. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me my petition that I made to him. The story of Hannah is quite popular. Hannah was the first wife of Elkanah. She was barren. The second wife, Penina, had children. Penina would provoke Hannah to the point that she would cry and not eat. Hannah would go to the temple in Shiloh to worship and pour out her heart to God. On one of those occasions, Hannah prayed and made a vow to God. O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your servant and remember me and not forget your servant, but will give to your servant a son, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life and no razor shall touch his head. Our verse today is a testimony that God answered the prayer of Hannah. God blessed her with a child and she returned to the temple to offer back to God. There are two points I wish to examine in this verse. The Hebrew words palal and she'elah. The word palal translated as to pray could also mean to meditate or to intervene or to judge. Hannah spent time in meditation and prayer. Prayer demands time. It can be a frustrating exercise. Hannah prayed for so many years, but she had on. She wept. She poured out her heart to God, expecting that God will respond to her request. Prayer invites us to spend time, to meditate. The word shela means request or a thing asked for or petition. God granted Hannah what she requested. In prayer, we can make our petition to God using our own words according to how we feel. Sometimes we may be caught up with reciting prayers, with reciting words, using the words of other people, like the words of our pastors, or using a book. These are good, but we may not be able to express our feelings. While it is good to recite prayers or use some formula, we must tell God exactly how we feel. Hannah teaches us to pour out our hearts to God using our own words. The prayer and expectation of Hannah reflect something more profound. That is the eager longing and anticipation of the people of Israel for the advent of the Messiah. We too are invited to pray and long for the coming of Jesus this Christmas. It has been a painful year. We have prayed that COVID be eradicated. But with the advent of Christmas, God has responded with vaccines, which is now giving us hope that the next year will be better. Let us not give up. It may be a difficult Christmas, but the Lord is with us. He will indeed answer our prayers. Lord, as we approach the end of the year, we pray that you continue to protect and keep us away from all harm and evil. May this Christmas bring us inner peace and unfading joy. And may the next year be better than what we have experienced this year. Amen. God bless you, and I wish you a lovely day.